Hello, this is a walkthrough of how the demo was made. Around you, you can see instruments, synths, videos, and step sequences. They were all built using the plus button on your arm to create items and then edit them in the world. The demo started on a synth, so that's where we're going first. Here, we have a step sequencer triggering the synth. That part was recorded in real time by clicking record in the step sequencer above. Next, I moved along and programmed some drum hits. Wherever you select a drum, as in trigger a drum, or pick it up, it becomes a selected item which is then how the step sequencer knows what to reference. So you can see as I add these, you get an icon that shows you the associated drum. If I add another drum, you've now got two drums here triggered on the offbeat. Swipe to turn on more steps. You can also see as I point that the associated drum gets lit up. When I click, it shows the part. The same thing happens here. When I pick it up, it changes the active drum in the step sequencer above. If you look at the hi-hats over here, you can see that the steps are different colours. This is because they were programmed by hitting in real time. The whiter the step is, the harder it was hit. Here we have a VFX or video effect. And a drum which is triggering it. You can set up a secondary trigger to trigger VFX or other drums. You can also hear that there's a stereo delay. If you click the I, the info for the item is displayed. Here you can see that a stereo delay and a reverb have been assigned. You can solo or mute or set the clip volume from here too. For the lead part over here, what I'm doing is pointing and triggering whilst moving the controller to play the notes and using the left hand to control the pitch. What's happening is that I'm clicking a button on the controller, the B or Y button on the Oculus or the shoulder button on the Vive. When those buttons are clicked, the arm lights up and is in 3D control mode. If you look at the info for the synth, you can see that the pitch bend changes and that it's assigned to left roll. You can assign any synth or effects parameter to be 3D controlled. Roll, pitch and yaw means rotation of your hand. Position is the relative position of your hand. So I could change the pitch bend to be controlled by left Y position. And then the pitch is changed by moving the hand left and right, not rotating it. You can also see this red button here is added. This is because the pitch bend has been recorded in the step sequencer. The clear button allows you to clear the recording of the pitch bend. Over here, we have two synced videos.
These are synced to the beat. If I play the metronome, you can see that they're synced to the click. The metronome is also the center for the global tempo and the global key and scale. So I can change the scale and all the synths will switch to the new scale. Or I could change the root note. If I change the tempo, everything will time stretch and resync. Any audio loops will also time stretch and auto pitch shift to fit the key. In most of the environments, you can pick up and rearrange the world around you. And everything is scalable and movable.